Satya, welcome to London. Thank you. Um, my name is Sam Laura, and I'm here from the National Indian Students Union. So we're an association that represents Indian students across the UK. Oh, I see. Um, how are you doing, sir? Doing very well, thank you. Very happy to be here. Excellent. Well, congratulations, firstly, thank on you. a brilliant performance. Thank you. And also, how did you land this role? What an amazing thing to do. Um, it came up about in a sort of a exciting and magical way. I was working on a play with somebody who Deepa had worked with, and um, I was also working on a film in Toronto around the same time, and I was going up to Toronto, and uh, my, my fellow actor said, look, why don't you meet with my friend Deepa? And, um, just sort of get a meet and greet, we have friends in common, that kind of thing. And I said, certainly. Um, and I had heard sort of a, some inkling that she would be directing this film, but right. never imagined that that's what I was sitting down at lunch to discuss. And, and it wasn't. We chatted about Bombay, we chatted about my family, we chatted about her family. Um, but quite shortly after that, I, I think she started to think of me for this role, and we started speaking a bit more seriously about it. Um, I met with Salman. Um, after having reread the book in about two days, because I found out about the meeting just two days before it. And then, um, then it went silent for a while. And then it wasn't until months later at a public screening of, of Heaven on Earth, which Deepa had said, come along and check out the film and we can chat about Midnight, um, that, uh, that she announced to the audience that the man who's gonna be playing Salim is sitting here in this audience. And I sort of turned around and said, what, me? Really, oh, me? Unaware. And I was unaware that it was a done deal. But um, at that point, she'd said it in front of 200 people, so she couldn't go back on it. So, you know, I was <laughs> safe. safe yeah. So I've heard there's also a connection with Salman, isn't it, from your side, from before the film. What, what's that all about? You know, my, my, my father um, is an academic and a theorist and uh, writes on post-colonial literature. And um, he and Salman, also, you know, were, were friends from, from a long time back. And Salman used to live in Islington, and I grew up on Highbury Fields, and so um, he would come around to the house. Um, but I never really met him. I mean, maybe I did. I don't really remember meeting him at the age of, you know, two or three. Um, and uh, then reconnected with him uh, around this film. When was the first time you read the book? I first read this book when I was probably about 10 years old. Oh, I was pretty young. Um, I was quite a voracious reader, um, and, and in my household, uh, you sort of were constantly being handed like great tomes as if they were, as if they were, you know, like Sherlock Holmes' little novels. And um, so I kind of resisted it for a while, but then I finally thought, when my younger sister said to me, have you read Midnight's Children yet? I thought, okay, now's the time. I really need to get on this. Yeah. You have a bit of an academic background as well, don't you? I mean, at the Yale, which is one mm -hmm. of the most highly recognized academic universities in the world. Mm -hmm. So, um, were you? What was the jump like from being such an academic background to an acting background, or have you always wanted to be an actor? Well, I've, I've always wanted to be an actor, and, and certainly uh, when I went to Yale, part of the reason was because they have an amazing um, theater program uh, there. Um, and so it was, you know, I think that my academic background, for lack of a better word, really informs my, my profession. You know, there's some actors who um, who don't really do a lot of research, you know, and it's not an important part in their process. But for me, uh, for better or worse, sort of an academic and contextual understanding of the material is really, really important. And so that's something that I spend a lot of time, especially for this film, reading and studying and acclimatizing myself with facts and, and stories and histories that I wasn't familiar with, you know, and that I felt was really important so that I could I could embody this character who has in his consciousness all of this information that I didn't have at the time. So I'm, you know, grateful to my sort of research-based background because I do think that it helps me kind of get there with these roles that are quite far outside of myself. And also, basing on that, most of our students, most of our members are people of Indian origin, mm -hmm. as are you, mm -hmm. but they haven't got this in-depth connection with India as such. How did that pose? Did that pose any challenges? It was a huge challenge, you know, my, my father's Indian, he's from Bombay, but my mother's Italian, and um, I was born in London, and uh, then moved to the States in, in middle school, and so I was, you know, I visited India quite a few times, my grandmother lives lives in Kolaba, but I was 
certainly did not have a personal connection with the country outside of the lens of a family vacation. And so in order to be able to play Salim, I knew it was essential that I could sort of walk down the streets in Bombay and not feel like a foreigner. And that was um, that was a really exciting and also challenging process of going to India, spending a lot of time traveling around in Bombay, learning some rudimentary Hindi, um, sort of really connecting with this part of myself that had kind of been latent, you know, and uh, and so that was something that was really exciting and I think really essential in order that I be able to play the role. And what was working in Sri Lanka then? Because the film was shot in Sri Lanka, yeah. wasn't it? What was that experience like? You know, Sri Lanka was an incredible home to us uh, for the film, but it was also very challenging. It's, um, as, as we all know, it's gone through a pretty tumultuous uh, history over the last few years. And when we were shooting there, they were only, you know, under, under five years um, out, uh, out of a civil war. And so I think that at the same time as it being able to provide us with incredible locations and um, incredible um, Im images and vistas, it was quite challenging to uh, sort of keep the logistical machine of a huge film production with 60 some locations and over 100 cast members and you know a huge crew and uh, huge technical demands. Um, it was a challenge to keep that going in a, in a country which is still sort of finding itself in terms of its infrastructure and in terms of the, you know, the way that it works at this point because it is... Um, Yeah, we, you know, I mean, there was no um, explicit threats or anything like that. It was actually very seamless and went very calmly. But, you know, I mean, um, a, a, a movie a movie is a magical thing if it ever happens, even if you are in the middle of shooting and there's no controversy about it. So I think that certainly uh, we really wanted to, um, you know, focus on making that film uh, and then once it was done, then we could talk about it. Then we could go out and, and sort of sp spread the word. Yeah. Brilliant. And tell me one little bit about your character in the film. What's the one thing you're going to take away from it? I think that, you know, Salim is really a, a character of hope. He is a, a forward-looking, um, indefatigable, hopeful boy. There's a ridiculous number of obstacles that he's faced with, and um, he wakes up the next day and keeps going. And I think that that is something that is very important and that sort of I, I can definitely empathize with, and that was what I will take away from it, I think. Good, and then lastly, one message for all the students that are just like yourself, have lots of ambitions, lots of hope, and are particularly studying in, in really intensive universities, but right. probably want you know, went to that and do not academic background. Mm -hmm. and stuff. One message for them? Well, you know, I think that it's just the most important thing is to, um, to analyze what it is that you want, and once you know that that's the thing that you want, to just stick to it, you know, and have faith in yourself that, that you will get there. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Yeah, you too. Thanks.